Hello everybody, my name is Eho Turkin, and today it's Wednesday! So today we're going to be talking about the last, no, Flash episode, the Family of Rogues! So for you guys who don't know, the Family of Rogues is basically just uh, a tale on the Snark family, which has about three villains in it, Golden Glider, Captain Cold, and Colonel Cold. This episode we see Louis Snart, the father otherwise known as Colonel Cold, Colonel Cold, sorry I can't talk today, <coughs> Basically what happens in this episode, it's very kind of easy to follow. It's one of those paint-by-the-numbers little things that they do every so often to kind of distract from the main storyline. Uh, it's a filler episode, all, all in all. And basically what happens in this episode is... Um, so basically what happens in this episode... So basically what happens in this episode is the Golden Gutter comes to Barry and says, Hey, my brother, Captain Cold got kidnapped, at which point Barry then does a full-out investigation to find a fine Leonard and finds him working with his father, Colonel Cold, otherwise known as Lewis Nart. Now then, for the most part, this episode, again, is just paint by the numbers. There's a bad guy, they have a bad plan, but this one's a little bit different due to the fact that it works within the rogues gallery to show a sort of family dynamic that's kind of twisted. Um, it also deals with uh, Cisco's and the Golden Gutter's, uh it also deals with uh, Cisco's and the Golden Glider's relationship, which is kind of interesting in my mind. Because cause when I see these two and I see them interacting, I can see that this is kind of a back and forth that they're going to do. But I don't believe it will actually end in a relationship. Also, at the end of the episode, uh, spoiler alerts, Captain Cold kills his father. Which, in my mind, kind of undermines a lot of little things. Uh, Colonel Cold actually doesn't have a larger presence anymore inside the DC Universe, but it is a presence all the same, especially if you've ever watched Young Justice. It's there, and it's actually kind of interesting in that it happens. The episode itself isn't anything to write home about. It's not anything amazing, but it actually is very, very fun. It also has some interesting parts in it, ma mainly to do with the new character, Patty Spivet. So, Patty Spivet, as you would know, um... Uh, Patty Spivet, for those of you who don't know, is a character inside the DC Universe comics that helps Flash out um, as another forensic scientist. She works with Barry Allen and then finds out that he's a Flash later on. There is a hint that she has a romantic interest in him, but at the same time, the romantic interest isn't received back. But it is different in the New 52. When they're making these episodes, the writers are often saying that they're taking inspiration from multiple different uh, Flash timelines. You're taking Flashpoint, you're also taking the new 52, you're taking the older Flash, you're taking the newer Flash, the TV series that happened before, and you're kind of meshing them all together. And the thing is, is that I almost feel like this is something that would happen where instead of Iris and Barry ending up together, I'm thinking maybe Patty and him are going to happen, which is what's happening in the new 52. They draw a lot of inspiration, for, it seems, from the new 52 for season Two, while season one was more of a basis of the original comic books. I know I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds like something that would be very interesting and very useful, actually, if you're talking about a character and trying to get people into the comic books. Because, honestly, even I don't even read the comic books all that much. I study them very thoroughly, but I don't actually read them. To get into that kind of takes a lot of devotion towards a single storyline, or to storylines in and of itself, and that costs money, guys. Comic books aren't cheap anymore. But aside from Patty Smith with the Rogues family and all that, we have one thing that we have to talk about. Spoilers. Towards the end of the episode, Dr. Stein has an accident. He, he, he's he been having heart troubles. He's just been having health problems all in all. And then at the end of the episode, he whoa, bursts into flames and becomes a sort of half firestorm. And then he turns blue. And now, if it looks like they're going to have Jason Rush come in and become the new firestorm. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, there are two Firestorms, kind of, and they all run, well, three, but eh, let me explain. Firestorm is a superhero that is made up of two different people, um, usually Dr. Stein and either Jason Ra, Jason, J Jason, Jason Ra, Jason Ra, either Dr. Stein, Jason Rush, or Ronnie Reynolds. And for each one of these people, they have to combine with Dr. Sign. So there's two different Firestorms, or you can basically kill off Dr. Sign and they become one. But you always have to have two people. And if they don't, they kind of have a little bit of a problem. And that's kind of where this is coming. 
Jason Russ showed up in the episode uh, where they were explaining Firestorm originally. I believe it was the Christmas episode, kind of, um, last season. And Jason came in and he kind of just said, oh, hey, this is what Firestorm is. And they kind of glossed over that they gave him the same name as Firestorm. Uh, by the previews, it does look like this is going to be Jason Rush becoming the Flash. But then you also have the Legends um, DC uh, TV show that they're going to be making here soon, where it's Ronnie, actually, who is going to be Firestorm. And, the, and this all kind of comes together, meshes together to form the... Um, form this overarching theme that Ronnie's not dead or maybe it's Ronnie from Earth 2 and that's the big part of this. No matter how you look at it, things are different and things are going to be crazy. But if you guys are not watching this, please go watch this um, show. It's really good. It has very interesting lights. So yeah, guys, there you go. The Flash Vlogs. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya! Yeah, some days I feel unfazed Like when I'm with my friend <laughs> Motherfucker, what the hell? God damn it! I know this game and I still got scared! Suck at this. Mmm. Egg noggy nog nog, yes, egg in the nog.